YouTube Bunny versus VidIQ, which is the best keyword research tool for YouTube in 2021. In this video, I'm going to show you the best comparison between the TubeBuddy keyword research tool and the VidIQ keyword research tool. And I'm going to show you which one is better than the other for certain aspects of optimizing your YouTube videos. So make sure you watch this video all the way to the end because I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on how to optimize your YouTube videos to get more views and grow your YouTube channel. Let's not waste another second and get right into it. So let's jump onto the laptop, onto YouTube, and I wanna show you what these two tools can do. So let's actually type in the keyword term TubeBuddy versus VidIQ. So let's have a look at the two different comparisons here and what each tool shows you and go through what the data actually means. Okay, so let's start with vidIQ. So it shows you the search term, then it shows you the highest views, average views, average subscribers, how many added in the last seven days, the creative comments, average age of the videos, times in the title, times in the description, and the top creator. There's an overall score, which is probably the most important metric we like to look at. And this score is always out of 100. So this is 76 out of 100. It shows you the search volume for the search query and the competition for the search query. What we want in the perfect world is to have high search volume with low competition so that we can get lots of views on our videos but not have to compete with too many other creators for that specific search term. Then it shows you the top channels for the search term and then top related opportunities. So what other video opportunities are there to create for this specific search query? And then it's got the overall score next to it there. So TubeBuddy versus VidIQ 2020 is actually a lower score than the shorter search query which is quite interesting then we head down to TubeBuddy the search explorer tool and we have search volume at the top searches per month which is a great metric to have so you know how many people are actually searching it for the month which is one of the reasons why we use TubeBuddy as our main tool but we'll talk more about that later the competition score and then the overall score takes into account the search volume and the competition for the query they are related searches and it gives you a whole lot of related searches that you can use so there's way more information in this TubeBuddy and also the amazing thing is you can select the tags that you like copy them and then paste them into your videos then there's most used tags so you get a good indication of what creators are using as their most used tags and then you can copy the ones that you've selected to the clipboard to paste into your videos if you want to download the TubeBuddy keyword research tool or the vidIQ keyword research tool. We have a video right here walking you through the process on how to get that on your YouTube channel if you don't have it installed just yet. TubeBuddy also has an amazing mobile app that you can put on your phone that you can check videos, check stats, and check your keywords, and even do your keyword research inside of the mobile app, which is a great addition to have. And one of the second reasons why we use TubeBuddy as our main keyword research tool. Now let's go into a video and see what these tools do. Now, when we're watching an individual video, you can go into individual videos to have a look at specific data for that video. So TubeBuddy has a video lytics tab on the right hand side that gives you some amazing data about that specific video that you're watching. There's a summary, so total views for the video, how many comments, how many likes and dislikes for that video. Then there's some SEO, which is search engine optimization stats. Now, how many of the videos in the suggested 
tab are from the creator that you are watching. So they're four out of 20 of our videos that are suggested by YouTube next to this video. Then you can click to load how many rank tags in this video there are, and it gives you an overall SEO score, 95 out of 100, which is pretty good. And that's broken down by tags in the title and description, tags in the title, tags in the description, total tag characters and title words in the description. So you can see how we are scoring there. And we have 14 ranked tags for this specific video. There's some social stats. How many people like the video on YouTube? Has it been shared on Reddit? Are there any upvotes? And you can click to search to see if there are any mentions inside of Twitter. And that takes you into the Twitter app to search how many times that has actually been mentioned on Twitter. So we've got one there. Now the channel stats, we've got 1.8 million views on our channel, 8,000 subscribers and 223 videos uploaded. There's best practices, does it have a high resolution thumbnail, has a comment been pinned, has a comment been hearted, are there info cards added, has anyone liked it on Facebook, have you added chapters, are there end screens, are there captions. And then it shows you all of the tags and this is my favorite part of this tool. It shows you the tags and where you're ranking for that specific keyword tag or keyword phrase. And what you can do is you can copy these tags and select which of those tags you want, copy it to your clipboard and paste it into your video so that you can rank just as well as someone who is ranking number one for the keyword phrase that you want. Now only copy these tags if they're relevant for the videos that you are creating. Remember if it's not relevant, it's not going to rank for that video. Now let's go through the vidIQ tab. What have they got here? So we start off with the overview. How many views per hour this video is getting? What are the total views? And then there are a few hidden metrics because we aren't on the paid version of vidIQ. So there's subs driven, sub views. How many, what is the average view time? What is the average duration? What is the duration of the video? What are the top devices being used? What are the top countries? And then social, they say that this is average. 97% of it is on YouTube and a small percentage is on Facebook. It shows you the like ratio, YouTube likes versus dislikes, how many times been liked on Facebook and has it been shared on Reddit and has it been upvoted. Then we on to the SEO stats, the search engine optimization stats. The vidIQ score is 64 out of 100. Now the vidIQ SEO score versus the TubeBuddy SEO score, they will be slightly different because they are looking at different metrics. As well as the overall score that you're gonna get when you are researching keywords, competition and search volume, you are going to get different stats from TubeBuddy as you are to vidIQ. And so many people ask me, why are these so different? It's because they're both looking at different data points to get their overall score or their competition score or their search volume score. So they are going to be slightly different and you need to see which tool works best for you. From the three years that we've spent on YouTube, we prefer the data and the scores that we get from TubeBuddy. That's why we use TubeBuddy as our main tool. If you want to get access to TubeBuddy, we'll leave a link for you in the description below. And we'll leave a link to vidIQ for you to sign up for both of those tools. They both have free versions and paid versions. If you sign up for the paid version, you can get a discount using the link down below from TubeBuddy, it is an affiliate link and we will earn a small commission if you use our link and go onto a paid version. But I'm telling you now, the free version is more than enough to get you started growing your YouTube channel and getting more views on your video. Next, they show you how many of the suggested videos are from the creator, one out of 20, how many words there are in the description, how many end screen elements there are, how many words per minute there are in the video, what is the description link count? And then YouTube search views versus suggested views. So they give you a cool breakdown of where the views are actually coming from and how many referred views, so how many external views, how many people are is the creator bringing onto YouTube and how many backlinks are there to the videos. So there's six there. Then you can compare views in the last 28 days to other videos, which is a really cool tool that you can have and the video optimization checklist. So there's title tags, description cards, in screen, high res thumbnail, closed captions, 
Have they replied to a recent comment? Have they shared it on Facebook? Have they enabled monetization? Have they added to a playlist? And is the video public? Next, we have the channel. So how many average daily views is the channel getting? Three and a half thousand. How many views in the last days? 106,000. How many subscribers? 8,000. How many average daily subs? That's 10. How many subs in the last 30 days? 320. So it's really cool to see the trajectory of the channel. And then there's a subscriber rank and a view rank. Now this is really cool to see if you're competitive like me. The subscriber rank is 2 million and a bit and the view rank is close to 3 million. Then you have the video tags. It's also going to show you where you rank for these specific tags and you can also copy all of these tags and then paste them into your video. Then there's topics, have they added any topics and what are the channel tags for that specific YouTube channel. Now you can see here are the suggested videos and there's another one of my videos that it is suggesting for people to watch. I hope you enjoyed that quick comparison between TubeBuddy and vidIQ. Now the most important thing is to use these tools to find longer tail key phrases that you can rank your video for. And when you're a new creator, you need to find key phrases with really low competition. I'm gonna say that again, find keyword phrases with really low competition. If you can do that, even if the search volume is low, it's gonna help you get more views on your videos and help you grow your channel. If there's only one thing that you listen to from this video, it's that. Find key phrases with low competition and it'll help you grow your YouTube channel. So go ahead, download these free versions of these keyword research tools and start using them to do good keyword research and find long tail keyword phrases that have low competition and you'll be on your way to getting more views on your videos. If you have any questions about TubeBuddy or vidIQ, let me know in the comments down below and I want you to let me know which of the two is your favorite tool. Thanks so much for watching. If this video helped you, smash that like button. And if you're interested in finding out more about keyword research using these tools, watch our next video here where we talk you through exactly how to do keyword research start to finish to get you more views. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.